Rugby League's longest-serving female representative captain, Karen Murphy, and World Cup veteran Tani Norris have been named as co-captains to lead the 2013 Gillaroos to the Festival of World Cups in the United Kingdom next month. It means everything to captain your, your country and it's a huge honour that I guess it is hard to put into words. It's, um, I'm very excited and um, very honoured to be named captain uh, to head over to this World Cup and um, I've got no doubt we'll be, we'll be bringing back the World Cup. In an emotional presentation by former coach Graham Murray, who had to step aside due to health reasons, the squad accepted their international jerseys that feature the Australian coat of arms. Now head coach Paul Dyer says this year's side boasts talent of all ages. Young 18 year olds that are fresh and jumping around, they're very bubbly here at training, they're just keen to be involved in the team and keen to impress and we've got a mix of older girls that have been around this team for some 10 and 15 years. I can't even explain how it feels, like it's such a big honour, especially at such a young age and to be able to play with girls that have been playing since before I was born and to send them off on their last tour is just, an, I can't even explain the feeling. Dyer says the NRL are now getting right behind the women's side, showing unprecedented support. These girls are as passionate about playing for their country as the men are and I think it's great and wonderful that the NRL have, uh, have recognised that. They've fully funded this trip for these girls. It's the first time in history that they'll leave our shores and they won't have had to pay significant money out of their own back pockets. You know, it gives me goosebumps now. You know, you throw on the Australian jersey and you stand side by side and the national anthem comes on and, you know, you're singing it together and I just think it's such a proud moment to be an Australian and um, to represent your country and go out there and just give it absolutely everything, not just for the country but your family and, and the girls that are standing right beside you. The Gillaroos will depart Sydney on July 2nd in the hope of taking the World Cup title off reigning champions the New Zealand Ferns who have won all three World Cups since 2000. Amy Lindsell, NRL News.